If you open up chat, then you would see it, but you don't really need to. There you go. Wonderful. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for attending uh, the automated video interview presented by DTEC. Uh, we're just going to give everybody a, a minute or so to be able to join, get through any technical issues that they would have, uh, and then we will get the show rolling. Um, again, thank you very much for being here. And if you just give us a minute, we're just going to wait for a couple more attendees to join before we go ahead and kick off. And again, just as uh, everybody's well aware in these uh, types of sessions, there's a chat box that uh, gets you direct contact with me. And, and uh, if you have any questions, any, any comments that you would like to bring on, I'm more than happy to either answer them for you myself or put them over to Anissa, who I will introduce shortly uh, to, to answer um, at any time. This is a live webinar. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll try our best to be able to answer all of your questions while we, we're all online. Um, it looks about time where we need to we need to kind of get moving uh, once again, or actually for the first time, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jack Nidra. I'm the director of sales here at DTEC. Um, and on the line, I, or sorry, on the uh, on the camera, on the web, I, I don't know what the right term is, uh, but we've got Anissa Zarek, who is an organizational psychologist with DTEC. Um, and together we'll be walking you through the automated video interview. Um, and again, presented by DTEC. Uh, if you have any questions, comments at all, please use um, the web chat to be able to ask. This is a live webinar. Um, so again, um, we will try and answer all of your comments and questions as we go ahead. Um, and now moving along. Um, so, you know, in the, in the next, you know, short time that we're spending together, what we will we'll be doing is, again, the automated interview, uh, we'll be talking about why, when it's used. Uh, we'll, we'll give you a, a quick presentation of uh, Sonaru's video interview, which only takes a couple of minutes and it's a fantastic walkthrough. Um, we'll share some best practices for, for video interviewing and uh, how to be able to manage that content. Um, and again, uh, you know, we end with a, a question session, but again, please feel free to ask if it's pertinent to a, a specific slide or if there's anywhere we can chime in. I'm more than happy to be able to answer those questions. And with all of that, you know, Anissa looks like she's on a beach somewhere in Mexico. Um, however, uh, she's in uh, the beautiful Montreal, Quebec, um, and I pass it off to, to Anissa. Hi, Jag, and I am very happy to be here today. So let's move right along. And we talked about when and why you, we should use the video interviews. So um, there are actually many advantages and many reasons. So let's start with, with the why. Um, uh, why uh, one would choose to use the video interview. Uh, as you can see, you know, the first, uh, improve your employer brand. Uh, one thing that um, I was really excited about the, the video interview is the positive feedback from candidates. Um, so that we're seeing not only is it a great solution for organizations to reduce their cost and efficiency, but we're getting great feedback from actual candidates who enjoy the flexibility, the practicality of not having to miss work or plan an appointment on during work hours, but having that flexibility of answering um, when they want to. And secondly, what we're seeing also is that uh, in terms of employer brand using, you know, um, the video interview uh, allows you to create that image of being very innovative and using technology-based um, selection tools. So we're seeing an advantage from the get-go from the candidate experience perspective, in addition to um, the efficiency and the cost reductions, right? So we're seeing organizations that have reported up to 80% increased speed in their process because of appointments that no longer need to be booked. Uh, if we're looking at, um, you know, panel interviews where we want uh, two or three people to, to view uh, the interview, this is great because of the complexity of getting people at the very same time with the candidate added in, 
uh, this really improves efficiency from, uh, from that perspective. So uh, saving time, improving efficiency, reducing costs um, in terms of that uh, cost uh, time, but also travel time that is potentially reduced also. Attracting more candidates. Uh, in a recent Harvard Business Review, Holmes uh, in an article called Expanding the Pool explains how Goldman Sachs used the automated video interview um, um, for their recruitment um, on campus, campus recruitment strategy, uh, recruiting new students to, to the organization. And tra traditionally, they would send recruiters to do on-campus interviewing, which would limit the number of schools and interviews they could do in that, that limited um, space of time. So before using the automated video interview, Goldman Sachs would interview 20% of applicants. And when using the video interview, they were able to then uh, interview 40% of those applicants. So Goldman Sachs, uh, in summary, what they, um, they really emphasize is that the top of their recruitment funnel is now wider and the output is consequently more diverse. And, and that's really a winning solution for them. Uh, adding more to, you know, uh, Goldman Sachs would recruit from 700, uh, seven, close to 800 schools around the world, uh, but then uh, they would limit um, their presence on certain campus. Uh, they almost doubled that in size, going to uh, 1,268 uh, schools uh, and increasing that diversity is what we're really seeing. So uh, many advantages from different perspective, whether that's the organization or the candidate experience is what we're seeing. Now we answer, you know, a few of the why uh, would we want to use the video interview? And when, uh, when do we use the video interview is a very important question to ask. There are conditions and contexts where we want to use the video interview and certain which um, we would not. So typically the video interview is a great solution for a substitute for the initial round of candidate interaction, right? So that we still want to meet our candidates face to face obviously, but we might want to reduce that number um, and, and add this layer before. So oftentimes it can be a great alternative to phone interviews or a great solution to assess high volume of candidates, right? So we were talking about an example of, you know, a call center um, personnel, right? Where we have those high volumes, it could be a great way to reduce the number of people that then go on to the face-to-face -face, uh, interview. Yeah, I'm sorry. And Lisa, can I just get you to kind of step back a slide there? Um, you know, I, I, I know we're, we were talking about, um, you know, solutions that assess kind of high volumes of candidates. Um, and, uh, you know, with a lot of the clients that I work with are, are smaller, mid-sized organizations that are, are utilizing these products. Um, and, and they're not necessarily kind of looking to, through to get, you know, 2,000 or 3,000 applications to see who they'd like to see. Um, and what they're doing is they're, they're looking at this as, as a way of saving uh, the time of their limited resources and, and managing, uh, managing for success that way. Um, so, you know, the idea of not having to chase people, you know, call people, text people, message people, you know, email people to be able to, you know, set up that first meeting. Um, you know, it, it completely gets eliminated and, and, you know, not even after that pre-screen and then, you know, potentially looking at that interview for a uh, selection or role and, and instead of using, say, paper-based notes or, or computer-based notes to share with the hiring manager, they're able to share the complete discussion that, that's happened between uh, the interview question or the interview scenario with the applicant. Exactly. So just to give a concrete example that comes to mind as you say this is, as you know, Jag, here at DTEC, we do use the, the video interview for, um, as we're growing, we're a growing company, uh, but we are still, you know, a, a small um, growing company. So just short of about 20 employees, uh, we, we do represent that smaller organization that's growing and where everyone wears multiple hats, where everyone's quite busy. So if I think of a uh, context where um, a team member has requested me to uh, perhaps review an interview that they've done or um, take a look at the interview, it was great because we were both able to view an interview and, and, and be able to grade that interview 
for that interview. Uh, but for me, if I think of the last time I did that, uh, you know, we did this in a very short turnaround time. And that was allowed because I had the flexibility. So, you know, nothing would, would necessarily fit in that nine to five traditional hour, but I was able to have that flexibility, which made me able to respond and do that interview uh, you know, within a day or two. So you're saying that not only do we talk the talk, but we walk the walk. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So if we move on to uh, the sun, Sunru demo, right, which um, Sunru is the, the video interview that, that we, we use and we <laughs> offer here at DTEC. Uh, which um, allows you to do all those great things that I just mentioned. Um, and what I really love about the Sunruin interview, uh, being a scientist and a psychologist, um, scientific rigor is always important to me. And what I love about the video interview is, is that it has all the great things of a highly structured interview. All candidates are asked the same questions. Everyone's treated in a standardized systematic way so that we're really respecting all that research that we know um, from, you know, from studies about the more structured an interview tends to be, uh, the more we tend to be able to predict performance, right? So, so that uh, having that structured interview is, is really key so that we have this, coupled with a great user experience, user being either the organization using it or the candidate experience. So a great marriage of scientific rigor and, and structure with user friendliness. So the best of both worlds, if you will. So again, just a quick reminder, and then this is Sunru uh, highlighting that, you know, um, interviews and uh, the automated interview answers the need of, you know, having innovative solutions improving the candidate experience, which we already highlighted, and uh, in the meanwhile, uh, improving your recruitment efficiency, which is probably um, you know, a priority uh, for HR. So um, why do customers trust Sunru? Uh, just a, a few uh, information in terms of, first of all, one thing that we love about Sunru, uh, especially here in Montreal and Quebec is, uh, the fact that we can have it available in different languages. So uh, whether we're interviewing in French, English, uh, you know, Spanish, we have oh, 18 languages uh, that the platform is offered in and great customer support 365 days a year, 24-7, uh, which is really great in terms of if you do need support. But typically, uh, people don't need support because it is so user-friendly and the interface is very easy to use in the sense that we don't even need training. There are great videos that we've created for clients, very straightforward, we're here, you know, if there is a need from customer, uh, but that being said, it's very straightforward. And an interview can be created in just a few minutes. Now, oh, yeah, Anissa, sorry, just, just one second. Yeah. Uh, you know, you mentioned that uh, some interviews that we've created for clients, um, you know, but just to kind of speak to that, you know, this is a, a completely uh, autonomous platform. Um, once you start using this, we, we teach you how to use it, how to create those interviews, how to add those videos, how to do all of the fun stuff to make it look unbelievably fantastic to give your candidates the best experience. Um, so again, we're, we're absolutely here to be able to help you, but you, you will be autonomous. Exactly. And it's very easy to become autonomous and, you know, very, very user friendly platform. Um, you know, we've talked about uh, our, our experience uh, using Sunru and, and some of our clients' experience, but if we look at um, other clients um, that use Sunru and their, um, their feedback and their return on investment, uh, you know, here we see, you know, PepsiCo, uh, which, were, which was able to reduce their overall hiring process by 37 days, which is quite significant. And if you look around, you know, this slide, you'll see a lot of time reduction. You know, CSK, uh, hiring time was lowered by 71%. Morrison, you know, 75% uh, of, um, of the time. Uh, so we're seeing great increase in, in terms of uh, time, uh, time reduction. 
uh, and cost reduction also um, that's been highlighted and up to 80 percent here which we see so great return on investment from multiple uh, clients yeah um, you know thanks Anissa uh, you know number one I just wanted to make a comment and then right after that um, I've got a question from from one of the participants on the WebEx here um, so you know my comment is you know, I, I know we kind of save you time and we save you money and, and you always hear that, but beyond saving you time and money, we're, we're giving you uh, or giving your recruiters or your HR team um, time back into their calendars where it gives them the ability to be more strategic and, and, and not have to worry about the small mundane things and to be able to kind of be more visionary and be able to kind of move those other projects forward. So again, yeah, you know what, does it speed up the process? Absolutely. Um, you know, do we save time? Absolutely. But, you know, beyond those hours, um, you know, the, the value of, you know, what those people are now doing with their time moving forward um, is an entirely different ROI. Um, and now kind of moving off to one of the questions that uh, we got from the team here. And maybe if I can, if I can interrupt you, Jack, just because Please. as you say this, it kind of, um, you know, I kind of think back of the Goldman Sachs uh, um, example, right, of um, saving time. If we go back to those uh, on-campus recruiters uh, that no longer had to do interviews on campus, right, but then they were, they would still have an on-campus presence, but more in an attraction uh, format, right, where they were able to interact and attract as opposed to interview and assess potential candidates. Yeah, no, absolutely. So uh, getting down to the question, um, these are great testimonials from, from very large organizations. We're not as big. How do we find value? Okay, so that goes back a little bit to uh, the question that we, we raised uh, a little earlier, right? Where, you know, we're not as big and it doesn't have to be about volume, right? So obviously- um, It's about time management. And, and, exactly. and, and doing the right things with your time. Uh, exactly. and I'm sorry to interrupt, Anissa, but you know, just to go back, smaller organizations have small, limited resources and, and to be able to uh, be able to remove time or remove some of the stress that comes from some of those roles for you know, some of these actions, giving them the time back to be able to be more strategic. Yes. <laughs> sorry and to ask the question and then answer it too. No worries, that's great. We're on the same page. And it goes back to, you know, my own experience where, you know, regardless of the size of the organization, uh, time is a valuable and limited resources uh, for all types of organizations, big and small. And oftentimes when we're small, um, you know, even more so. So being able to have that increased flexibility definitely helps uh, smaller organizations just as much as big ones. Uh, what we have is, you know, we might not have the volume but that flexibility is just as key. All right, so let's move on and get to know a little bit more about Sunroof's uh, automated interview. Um, so basically, uh, there are four big, um, big steps in, in terms of using and creating the interview. Uh, first step is to create an interview or du du duplicating or reusing an interview, right? So. Basically, if you want to interview for role X, right? So um, let's say we're hiring a new person X within the organization, uh, I want to create an interview or go back and reuse a, an old template and I'll duplicate it. So basically when you go and create a, a, an interview, you'll have a bank of questions, a library of questions that you can go and choose your questions for, from, or you can create totally new questions that are tailor-made for your role, for your organization, and then you can store those questions that you've created in your library of questions, right? Then you have to personalize. So it's a highly personalized interview where you set the allocated time to read your question, for the candidate to read the question, the allocated time to answer the question, and that will be standardized for all applicants, right? You'll give them a specific date limit until which they have to answer the interview. And then you can attach any document that you see fit, right? So um, sometimes you might see fit to uh, attach uh, inform uh, information about the organization or about the role, uh, the job description, 
anything you might want to see fit in terms of creating that interview. Sometimes it could be extra material for a specific question where you might want to give them, um, you know, uh, an organizational chart to analyze or uh, some data to analyze for a more technical position to reply to a problem that you're giving them on paper. So here, basically, you're creating the interview. That's step one. Step two is sending the interview to the candidate. And you can either manually add a candidate or import a list of candidates in a very easy way. There is an invitation message. Uh, there's a generic one which you can edit and personalize and then it's as simple as emailing that and shooting that email off. Step three is receiving and completing the interview and that's the candidate step. Um, when they receive the interview, they'll first have to access the interview using the link and code that you've uh, supplied in the, the email. Then they'll have a tutorial video that walks them through what to expect and how the video interview will take place so that they're well informed and they know what will happen. Um, then the interview, uh, you know, uh, well, there's a welcome page about the information about the interview, the welcome video that you might want to include. So you could, you know, the hiring manager could film a personalized message. You can put a corporate video here to make it more personalized. Um, so this is the, the welcome bit. Then we move on to testing parameters. So the candidate will be asked to test internet connection, audio, video. Then once their tests are complete and they're, we're, we're, we've ensured that we've minimized any technical bugs, they'll go on to practice questions. So before we, we make them start answering the real interview, they have practice questions so that when the first real question comes, they know what to expect and they know the drill. And finally, you receive the, the video interview once they could complete it. The video is, uh, interview is sent back to you. You receive an email, you go on and you log on to the platform and you simply click on the candidate and then you uh, may listen and view your interview. Uh, what's great is that you can also have place to write any notes on the interview. There is a scoring key also where you can score on a scale from one to five each question. And in best practices, this is what you want to do. You want to quantitatively score those interview questions. So we're seeing a lot of structure in this interview. A lot of rigor uh, is what we're seeing. You know, and, and just to kind of add there, um, you know, joining or, or as the candidate completing the interview is, you know, not much more difficult than joining this WebEx or, or Zoom meeting or, or go to meeting, right? You're just going through all the right stuff. You know, is your speaker working? Is your camera working? You know, is, is it looking great? So uh, again, not much more different than, than joining this meeting today. Exactly. And uh, Sunru has on their website how, you know, I believe it's a blog entry, how this interview is not only for, you know, the techies and the high tech type of roles, uh, but that it's really user friendly and, um, you know, it could be adequate for a great variety of roles. All right, so if we look a little bit at numbers, right? Um, basically, this is uh, feedback from uh, the candidate experience. And we're seeing, you know, that candidates are particularly enjoying choosing their preferred time as a top reason. Uh, if we go back to uh, the Goldman Sachs uh, experience case study in, in the Harvard Business Review, what they noticed was that most candidates completed interviews um, during um, non-traditional like off hours, right? Off traditional uh, working hours, right? Typically, uh, Thursday nights and Saturdays were uh, particularly uh, high points where candidates were available. So this flexibility is really appreciated from the candidate experience. And we can all think of uh, having to struggle to get time off to go through um, a hiring process uh, while we're still working. So that's really appreciated from candidates. Uh, we're seeing you know, them finding it practical also and finally gaining a new experience also. So uh, again, going back to that branding perspective, uh, you know, um, the video interview, the automated video interview is still relatively new so that uh, for a lot, uh, there is a no novelty effect that can 
um, be a positive experience. Yeah, and, and just to kind of chime in there with a, a question from one of our participants, um, how can you complete this interview or what are the methods or tools that you can use? Um, and, and I'll actually go ahead and answer that as well. Um, you can use your, your phone, your tablet, your PC, your laptop, you know, your, your desktop, whatever, um, you know, item that you have in your possession right now that, that, that is, uh, you know, stands with today's technology in terms of, you know, your laptop, your, your iPhone, your Android, whatever it is, um, you can do this, uh, you know, not necessarily sitting in a computer, you in front of a computer, you can do it really anywhere using the tools that, that you have readily available to you. Exactly. Uh, so title completion, uh, this is Sunru's uh, data. Uh, so we see that uh, similarly to um, the um, Goldman Sachs e example, uh, outside business hours tends to be, particularly, you know, if we join the weekend and outside business hours, Monday to fr Friday, we get 60%. So most people are doing it outside of traditional uh, working hours. Um, so that's really efficient for, for those candidates. And we're seeing most candidates, the very vast majority, satisfied um, with, uh, with the, uh, the practice and with the solution. Yeah, and just to add to that, Indy, so, you know, when I, when I talk to a lot of my, our customers and my friends that are our recruiters and, and we kind of comment to, you know, what time uh, of night or evening or, or day that these uh, interviews end up taking place with the candidate, um, you know, they, they often tell me, they go, Jag, it's always after hours, uh, you know, because a lot of the time, not every time, but the best ones are working and, and they don't have the time to be able to, uh, you know, reply to emails or, or be able to take 15 or 20 minutes uh, to have a phone conversation during the day. Exactly. Very good point. And what's great, you know, you just, you know, you just highlighted how, you know, your client was was able to uh, take a look at when, you know, when, when, when those interviews uh, take place. What's great with the Sunru uh, interview is that you'll collect a lot of data about um, behaviors, your candidate behaviors, right? So that um, Sunru offers reports that synthesize information from your interviewees and your candidates. You can see when are they, you know, when are they completing the interview? Uh, what, you know, what medium are they using? You can take a look and we really encourage you to analyze your data and we'll see that part in the best practices, right? And this, you know, as you rank your, your candidate scores, right, you're accumulating data that can later be used to predict uh, performance, right? So this is great from a data analytics uh, perspective. Yeah, you know what, and, and just to kind of add another comment to that, you know, this data is is so powerful. Um, you know, these are the items that these are the you know items that we can share with an organization that help shape uh, their culture and, and how they do these things, right? So, you know, um, we all have stickers on our laptops that says "Love your data." Um, this is one of those points that yeah, speaks to it, right? The the data is is king. Exactly, and you can. And this really allows you to see how how your candidates behaving, or you know, should you be tweaking your your um, your your interview practices? And this is great. You know, for instance, if you see that there's a question that you know by tracking performance on questions, you can see if there's uh, questions that are really not added value, right? They don't discriminate, and and by discriminating, I mean that they don't help you in identifying talent. Right, um, so uh, I'm using the term in, in that sense. So uh, a question that's really not helping you select. Um, you know, I've seen I've seen a lot of uh, clients talk to me. Oh, we know that question is part of our interview process, but it really doesn't give me give us information. Everyone gets that question, right? It's too easy. Well, if it's too easy, you know, we we should be changing it, right? So that you can track the performance of your your um, your interview questions and, and your candidate behaviors. So this would be the time where we could do a, a short demo. We have a three minute video for uh, the participants and this is where you know, you'll get to see uh, how the platform looks, what the candidate experience is. And as much as we can talk about it, uh, we really uh, believe that by seeing it, you'll get a little bit more insight about the solution. So I'm just gonna set up the um, the video right now. 
So it'll take me just a, a quick little minute and we'll be able to start the video. So uh, Jag, are we seeing the video uh, well and clear? Yeah, we're, we're good to go. Perfect, we're good to go, here we go. Would you like to speed up your hiring process by 80% while reducing acquisition costs and drive teamwork within your company? Phone interviews are now a thing of the past. The new standard? Automated video interviews. Automated video interviews not only replicate the phone interview process in a visual way, but also allow you to include written notes, rewatch, and even share the interview with your colleagues. The Sunroom platform offers a user-friendly experience for both your company and your candidates. The pre-recorded format makes it easy to configure an interview in a matter of minutes and eliminates tasks such as booking appointments or traveling to an office. Video interviews offer candidates the choice to complete their interview at any time of day they wish, which improves their participation rate. To begin, log on to the platform and enter the information pertaining to the job position you are recruiting for. Then, type your interview questions or select them amongst a library of pre-configured questions, as well as the allocated time for candidates to read and answer the questions. Finish off by entering the email addresses of the candidates you wish to invite and click Send. Instantaneously, the candidates receive an invitation from you which may be personalized using a corporate video or one from the hiring manager. Only requiring a moderate bandwidth and a camera, the candidate securely logs onto the platform and may complete their interview using a computer, laptop, or even their smartphone when and where they wish to do so in one of the 18 languages available on the platform. Like a phone interview, the candidate will not be able to see your interview questions ahead of time. The platform offers a few practice questions allowing the candidate to be fully prepared for when the real questions will come around. Once completed, the interview is securely saved on the platform and you will receive an email notification informing you that the candidate has completed their interview and that it is ready for viewing. Once you've accessed the interview, you will be able to send your colleagues invitations to watch the interview, which will improve team collaboration and efficiency in the decision-making process. Video interviews offer the possibility to view the candidate's non-verbal communication for observations that are more complete than traditional methods. Automated videos have proven themselves to be effective. 76% of recruiters have changed their minds about a candidate after viewing their automated video interview. In the event of a need for technical assistance, a support team is available 24-7 throughout all 365 days in the year. Known for its efficiency when helping the platform's users, Sunru has the highest customer satisfaction rating in the industry. By using automated video interviews, not only will you modernize your employer brand, but also your company's HR practices for a more efficient hiring process. Hey, that was great. Thanks, Anissa. I, mean, I really got to commend you on your skills on being able to move from PowerPoint to uh, YouTube. All right. So let's go back to PowerPoint now that you said that. And we'll hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, and welcome to the Hogan Trees. Oh, looks like uh, we lost your yeah. PowerPoint there for a second, Anissa. I think yeah, I, I, I gave you that. Um, that pat on the back a little bit too early. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what happened, right? So I think we're back though to our um, PowerPoint. Is that correct? I, I don't see it right now. All right, so let me just get back to it. Hey, uh, well, while you're, you're just kind of working on that and, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll interrupt myself uh, once that PowerPoint comes back up, but uh, we, we had a question uh, come come out to say, uh, can we use this to test language proficiency? Uh, you know, for instance, how good their French is, for instance. Um, and, and while you're working on that, Anissa, I'll, I'll actually go ahead and answer that. Um, sure. Yeah, you know, quite a few of our customers that use it for roles that are bilingual uh, will uh, go ahead and, and, you know, and ask that certain questions be, um, be answered in the language that they're looking for. Um, so yeah, you know, not only uh, you know can it be a, a great method to be able to get some interview pre-screen done, uh, but on top of it, being able to judge the proficiency 
uh, of any given language based on the role is, is um, available to you as well. Perfect. Um, Jag, I... I don't I'm, see the, uh, the, 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 the PowerPoint there yet, but you know, at the same time, um, we weren't really too far from the end. Um, there was a, a couple of other items that we wanted to bring up and, you know, uh, Anissa, unless you're having any luck uh, bringing that PowerPoint up. Yes. So maybe I'll just take 30 seconds more and um, hopefully be able to, to find this, but for some reason, uh, I'm not finding it. So let's just go with the best practices and um, and we'll continue with best practices. And then if anyone wants that, the summary, we'll, we'll be able to send the slides. You were right, there were just really two more slides left. So yep. might as well just continue. Uh, and we had a slide on best practices. So now we've seen the Sunru, um, you know, demo. We talked about Sunru. But if we go back to just basic best practices in interviewing, and in terms of, of video interviewing, um, we'd like to highlight five points. The first is we know in interviews, we've emphasized, you know, I've emphasized the rigor and uh, the importance of the structured interview, right? So that having a certain level of structure, right? And there is a certain level of structure we want to get, right? And in an unstructured interview, we know that you might as well just take, you know, a coin and flip a coin. If you don't have that structure, you're interview is likely not predicting. So ensuring a standardized process for all candidates is important. And in the structured interview, we have the same experience, thus the same questions to all candidates. We want to level the field and really have that standardized experience uh, in terms of all candidates. And we're really getting it in the video interview. And that's really, um, really important in terms of best practice. So that's number one, ensuring a standardized process. Now, we know also, uh, based on research, some research suggests that, um, you know, uh, th there is a difference between having, um, you know, someone come in live for an interview versus a video interview. So if we want to standardize our practices, um, if we're doing part one video interview, we should do that as a standardized practice as much as possible so that everyone gets the same experience. Number two, a best practice, target and formulate your questions effectively. Your interview is just uh, is only as good as your interview questions are. So clearly identify key dimensions that are job related, that are most important to assess, right? So in the video interview, uh, Sunru, you have up to 30 minutes. Uh, so you really need to target the interview questions that are most important um, and using brief, plain and clear language formulating those questions clearly so that you're getting, you're not misleading the candidate. So clear questions, effective questions would be our second best practice. Number three, uh, and I've seen a lot of um, clients not do this, be rigorous when scoring candidates. Use a scoring grid, which is great about Sunru is that there is a scoring grid included. Um, another, if you're going to share the interview, so I've talked about how my colleagues send me the interview and ask me to assess the interview. Um, best practice in, in terms of scoring, if you're multiple graders, you should score first and discuss results later, as opposed to look at the question together and then say, oh, you know, react spontaneously, because some people might influence others more if you get your scores you know, clear and written down, uh, then you can have more constructive discussions. So, and uh, the platform really allows for this. So another best practice that's respected. Best practice number four, incorporate data analytics. And, uh, you know, we really invite uh, analyzing candidate behavior to adopt, uh, adapt your approach. Um, there's a great article, uh, again, in the Harvard Business Review. It's by Datner, 2016. We'll add the reference if you're interested. And, and it's about how um, keeping a, an interview scorecard to predict your, um, your interview's efficiency. So this is another best practice. And finally, the last best practice, give clear instructions to candidates and keep it personable. So, 
clear instructions reminding candidates of the desired response format. Uh, a classic is the STAR system, STAR standing for situation, action, and results. So in your response, we're expecting you to detail the situation, describe the actions you took personally, and concluding on what was the outcome, the results, and the situation. So giving clear instructions on how you want them to respond, what you're looking for, um, obviously in a neutral way. And then um, also keep it personable. So remind them that a person will be looking at the video. It's not an automated scoring, uh, but that a person will look at their video. Uh, you, we really encourage people to include an introductory personalized video, making it, you know, where, you know, their future boss might just say a quick word of hello. Uh, so that really keeps it uh, personable, even if it's um, on, done online um, individually. So there's, so those are best practices. You know, I'm just going to add, uh, you know, a funny comment to uh, make sure your, your questions are well worded and, and put forward. Um, you know, I, I was working with an individual and, and, and the question that they wanted was, tell me about one of your weaknesses. And in the text of that, they said, hey, you know, the way we would like you to answer this is not by um, giving us one of your strengths worded in a different way. So, you know, often enough when, when people are asked about their weaknesses in an interview, they turn it around to make it sound like a strength. So right. they completely called it out and um, they got some great responses. There you go. So those clear questions that the, your interview is only as good as, as your questions are. Regardless, you know, you can have a wonderful platform, a wonderful tool, but formulating those questions uh, clearly and, and a great form is important. So. Here are a few best practices uh, for anyone who wants them on, you know, paper. We'll be able to to get that um, get that to, to participants. And this would bring us to the question and answer period. So, were there more questions on yeah, your side? Yeah, I've got uh, two other questions here. Um, does a can I, and I think we covered this, but let's let's. I'm more than happy to kind of go over it again, or, or sorry, Anissa, you can. It, does the candidate always have to answer in answer ask a question? Sorry. Does a company always have to ask a question in written, uh, a written question, or hypothetically, can they be able to use a video or audio or some sort of simulation and have the candidate respond to that? Right. Do you want to uh, uh, go at it first, Jack, and then I'll add? All right, wonderful. Uh, the answer is yes. Um, so the written, the questions are not necessarily uh, just to be, you know, written questions for somebody to answer. Um, I've had or I've seen organizations where they use a scenario and, and, and make a small video to say, hey, what went right here or, or what went wrong? Um, there's audio clips from, you know, the call center or, or just situational questions with customers. You know, all of these items can be added in. Um, you know, an engineering firm that I think of, um, you know, asked, you know, just a, a specific um, you know what, I, I can't pinpoint it right now, but it was like, how would you answer this equation almost? And, and they were able to verbalize that and, and put it through, which, you know, not only um, helps uh, the recruiter being able to get the right answer for their hiring manager, but it actually goes beyond that. Uh, you know, I was a recruiter, uh, you know, several, several, several years ago, you can tell by the white beard, but, um, you know, if I'm working on a role that I'm not really familiar with, you end up taking your top five or your top six candidates, sending them over to the hiring manager and saying, hey, you know what, what do, what do you think of these individuals? And, you know, you can miss the mark, right? Mm -hmm. And it's very easy to miss the mark because I don't necessarily speak their language and I'm trying to help them in the recruitment process. But, you know, allowing them to be able to, you know, not have to look at my notes and, and understand how fast I can type or read, you know, uh, type or write, um, I'm able to send them a video to say, hey, was this what you're looking for? And to be able to qualify those pieces. So yeah, that was the long answer, but the short answer is yes. You know, uh, we can do videos, we can do, uh, you know, scenarios, uh, audio clips, whatever it may be, we're able to get there. Sorry, do you, do you have anything to add to my long-winded answer? No, I think you've covered it, you know. Uh, I could be, just uh, give, give another example. You could kind of have a PDF, say you received this email, right? And then have a, a print screen of the email. How would you react, right? 
So that could be an example of how you could use an attached file to your question. Definitely. Perfect. Um, last question. Um, you spoke about savings and streamlining the process. What are some of the average reductions? So um, with regards to Sunroo's data, uh, Sunroo reports uh, up to 50% uh, reduction in costs, right, in terms of um, the, the process, right? So, and this could be, uh, you know, costs relating to save time, as we mentioned, right, travel time uh, also uh, could be included in there. Perfect. Um, that's all for the questions that I see have, that have come up. Um, but uh, hey, thank you very much, Nisa. I think it was it was well done. Uh, I admire the beach behind you. Um, it is a nice, warm, and sunny day here in Toronto. You know, historically Montreal is a little bit cooler, and you're making it look absolutely awesome. But um, you know, that concludes uh, this uh, WebEx or webinar. Um, we will be forwarding um, the presentation to everybody to view. I know you missed the last few slides. We'll make sure that they get out to everybody. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, both Anissa and I are here for you. Uh, you'll have our contact information when that email gets to you, and I expect that it would be there uh, by latest tomorrow. Um, once again, we appreciate your time. Thank you for joining DTech on the video interview. And again, if you have any questions or comments, uh, anything that you'd like to share with us, um, we'll be able to reach out to you and, and, and please, please let us know. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you. Goodbye.